Hello YouTube, today we'll be talking about internet connection speeds and what they mean to a user and what kind of connection that they can have running to their computer. So let's start off this um, video with a speed test. And so I'm just using um, speedtest.net. It's free and it'll go ahead and it'll test your web speed. And we can see that our download is about 20 megabits per second. And we'll see what our upload is shortly. We can also see things like ping right here. And our upload speed appears to be around 4 megabits per second download. Sorry, upload. Alright, so what do these numbers mean? Well, let's start by opening a notepad document here. And we can see that what the screen prints here is M and then a lowercase b PS and so what that stands for is megabits per second so mega is 10 to the 6 and there's a difference between a lowercase b and an uppercase b now what a lowercase b means is bits and that is different from bytes now, it's common knowledge that there are 8 bits in one byte. So, if you were to take the number that speedtest.net gives you, which in this case we have 19.24, let's go ahead and open up our calculator and type in 19.24, and let's divide it by 8, because that'll give us megabytes per second. And we can see that we did about 2.41 megabytes per second so every second we can download about one megabyte sorry every second we can download about 2.41 megabytes and with our upload well that's just the same it's just 4.19 this will come out to about half if we do the same calculation we get about half a megabyte every second so let's put this to the test if we go and download something like ubuntu which is a Linux distribution. We can see that when we download it, we'll get the speed that we were just shown at speed test. So let's just download any file. In this case here, you can see that my speed is increasing. And so when a download initially starts, it normally does start a little low and it's increasing in speed. So if we let that download go, it would at max get to two point around 0 to 2.2 and then capital M capital B and then slash s for megabytes per second so we can go ahead and cancel that so now a common misconception is that you need a fast network card in, er in order to get fast internet connection well that's not true because if we start our task manager and we go to networking we can see here that our local area connection isn't really being utilized much its link speed is one gigabit per second and we can see its network utilization is only about it it's not even showing much data it's only at zero percent well the thing is what a local area connection or LAN speed determines is your internal speed not necessarily your external speed most people have less than a hundred megabits per second download speed that with Doxis 3 it is coming close to those speeds but we're not seeing that yet we can see here though that our link speed is one gigabit per second that means that internally we can communicate with other computers with the same type of network card same type of network card speed so if they had one gigabit per second we could communicate with their computer at one gigabit per second so that has really no direct connection with what your download speed will be exactly because that is one gigabit per second so what we can also do is we can go to start go to control panel network and internet network and sharing center and then we can go to change adapter settings and then hit status. We can see here that it'll show us our packets 
being sent and received. And so this is useful too. We can also see the speed here. And just as we saw before that 1.0 gigabits per second. So that is basically what internet connection speeds mean on these online tests and such. So most online internet sites measure in megabits per second because they'll get a higher number as an outcome from that rather than displaying megabytes per second. It would be quite odd to see 0.5 megabytes per second when they can just print 4.19. So that's how you see your internet speed and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please rate, comment, or subscribe.